Hello guys. Before I start off this very serious video, I must also do a very serious poem for our fallen soldiers from the trench warfare. It is Remembrance Day, November 11th, lest we forget. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below, we are the dead short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high, if ye break faith with us who die. We shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. <sighs> it is just such a wonderful poem. It's by John McRae. He's dead now, presumably. Yeah, he must be. Anyway, to get into the really serious topic of this video, aside from Remembrance Day, I need to talk to you about... Oh my goodness, these cats. <laughs> I need to talk to you about something really serious. You may have heard that I've mutilated myself. That is just not true. If you call cutting off your nipples mutilation, you're severely mistaken. One second. Yes, you may leave the room. Go, and do not bother me again. Where was I? Right. You're seriously mistaken if you believe cutting off your nipples to be mutilation. And let me tell you why. The government doesn't want you to know this, but the government's made up of a bunch of aliens. And I don't mean the illegal kind. I mean outer space kind, which is like far more illegal, okay? And so basically, you know, why do males have nipples? You know, science has told us because we all start off with the female body and then it forms into male or female. That is just simply not true. First of all, that doesn't make any sense because like, if you're a guy, you don't need to start off with nipples. You can just like not have them. So basically, when I did my studies, I realized something really interesting and it's that since we are controlled by aliens, and I'll get into that more later, but how do they control us, you ask? Well, nipples are quite pointless. I mean, breastfeeding? Not even everyone does that, okay? Our nipples are actually a gateway, um, an antenna, if you will, for the government. Aliens, really, it's aliens, to hack you. And they send these waves through your nipples that get transmitted into your brain, you know? Why else do we have veins and stuff? Like, that's like for transportation of the radio waves. And I, I found this out because I was sleeping. And then I heard a foreign language coming through the vents in my house. And I was like, well, that's quite strange. We don't have any immigrants living in this house. So I followed the vents, like echolocation. Okay, turn there, turn there, turn there. And it led up to my roof. So I want to go check that out because this is quite strange. Are there immigrants on my roof? I highly doubt that. That's a weird place to stay. It's not very sheltered. So I went to the roof and I found something indescribable. Well, I can describe it right now. Aliens. Cold-blooded aliens from outer space. Parked on my roof. What are you gonna do with your UFO up there? And I was like, hey aliens, what are you gonna do? Molest me? Cause that doesn't seem like an alien thing to do. And then they pulled out a little device and it went <laughs> and I could feel the sensation in my nips. And I was like, excuse me, what the hell did these fucking aliens just do to me? And then I was like, oh my god, something's wrong. I opened my phone and I checked my banking app. 
and they've just drained me. Absolutely left zero dollars for me to spend. And excuse me, I love to spend money. Like, why the hell would they do that? And I realize if I love to spend money, I'm controlled by money. And they don't want me to be controlled by money. They want to be in control of me. I can't be controlled by money because they're in control of me. So they literally hacked my nipples to get rid of my money so that I have to listen to the alien radio waves. And I was like, I'm not having this anymore. So I went down to town hall. I was like, excuse me, there are aliens on my freaking roof and they've just hacked my bank account. And town hall was like, shh, you can't let this be known. And I was like, well, that's quite silly. I'm for the people. I let them know when there's something wrong. Town hall took me into the freaking back rooms of the town hall, the secret rooms that they don't tell anyone about. And they held a gun to my freaking head. And I was like, excuse me, that's freaking terrorism. You can't do that to me. And I was like, super freaking mad pissed off. Like, why would town hall freaking try to threaten me? And then they were like, you have to stay quiet about this. We're going to show you something. Take out the same freaking radio transmitter that the fucking aliens from my roof had. And right into my nipples again. I felt it. And I was like, excuse me. Why is everyone trying to hack my nipples? But at the moment, I felt the tingling. Something got transmitted into my brain. I could feel it rushing through my blood up to my brain. And I'm like, ew. First of all, like, I don't even want to remember I have a brain. Why are you trying to make me remember I have a brain? Anyway, I closed my eyes and I saw the truth. Basically, aliens came down long ago, like sometime in ancient Egypt. That's why there's pyramids. And the aliens were like, these humans are bound to freaking rule the universe. We can't have this. So they freaking gave everyone nipples. Look it up. Cavemen did not have nipples. Only cave women to feed their babies. But somewhere along, the aliens decided, well, these nipples are actually really good for radio transmission. Too bad the men of the population don't have them. So they freaking gave men nipples just so they could hack them. And so everyone's been freaking hacked. Some people are the exception. But that comes with genetic deformities. Like if you were born without nipples, you're literally uninfluenced by the government and by aliens. Anyway, so after town hall, I was like, well, this is mad fucked up. Like they can't just fucking do that. They can't just give people nipples and then hack their bank accounts and hack their brain waves. So I was like, Ugh, I'm so freaking mad. How do I revolt? How do I show, how do I show them that? I'm not gonna listen to these fucking aliens, okay? So I fucking did the only rational thing I could think of, and I went, and I sewed it up, and guess what? No more tingling. No more bank account drainage. No more. And my brain's been saner than it's ever been in my whole life. Like, I used to be insane when the radio waves were hacking me, and now... I'm literally perfect. Like, I'm not weird at all. There's nothing wrong with me anymore. And, you know, people are worried about the wrong things. They're worried about the vaccines. You should be worried about your nipples. Go get vaccinated for all I care. They can't put chips in there. There's already chips in your nipples. Okay? Anyway. <sighs> Yikes. It's quite, quite a jam-packed video, don't you think? First of all, it's Remembrance Day. We must remember our fallen, but second of all, there's a grave threat against humanity, and that's aliens and nipples. And if you've ever gotten your bank account hacked, or anything hacked for that matter, you might want to consider chopping off your nips, because it saved me tons of worry knowing that I'm unhackable now that I don't have radio nipples, okay? So I hope you have a good night. Please do never forget the front, the trench warfare, mustard gas, crazy. I find that stuff mad cool. I mean, not cool that it was like evil, but I find it cool that it was like trench warfare. All right, you know, goodbye. And mm -hmm. 
Yodi land. I'm faded in a hoe.